Love their outdoors and their fish. Super special guest today. Talking to him on the, the phone. Mega last star. Week. Mega star mo <laughs> Hugh, movie star. Hugh Jackman. <laughs> oh, it's Ronnie Hodges. Sorry, <laughs> mate. <laughs> mate, I make I make a you look like a a learner on that movie and this Do you? Yeah, movie, yeah. But my little T V appearances are pretty professional. Oh uh, yeah. Don't ask me, I'm just a fisherman. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good line though. Yeah. <laughs> it covers you, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, I know nothing about solar. I'm just a fisherman. So, <laughs> so uh, mate, what uh, what brung on the movie? How did we get involved in this? And uh, we knew it was happening. I think yeah. it rang in last year or the year before. I can't remember now. It's been that Three long. Three years, yeah. 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 And, uh, what brung this on? Oh, Beaver's uh, wrote it. Well, yep. Beaver could probably tell you more. He's wrote it while he was in England, travelling over there at school, working at schools and things over there. And. Um, he uh, came back here and uh, he'd been up the up the top there, or you might be able to tell you, Beaver, he'd been up the top there and made a... Drag that microphone over to Beaver. Joy will slot that one over for you. OK, we're just making some adjustments just with our microphones here. I think we're right now. Hey, can I get um, Yeah, well, basically the genesis was... Um, I've had mates who go up every two years up the Gulf on fishing trips. Anyway, and I was busy, like, yeah, filming weddings and stuff, and I could never never go along. And then one year I thought, stuff this, I'm going to put a couple of weeks aside and head up, because it's winter. You know, that's normal when people get married, and I was always busy filming weddings. So um, went up, took a few cameras and filmed their shenanigans. Spent a couple of weeks, turned it into a little documentary called Gulf 2002. I thought nothing more of it. And then people in, you know, in the street down in the burdock and whatever, whatever would, complete strangers would stop me and say, really loved your film. I'm like, what, what film? You know, what, what movie? Turns out they'd all been copying it and it got to mine sites and, you know, spread like wildfire. And I thought, oh, people really want to see this stuff, you know, closer to home, and, you know, a bit of a, a fishing genre. So I thought, what if we wrote a script and made a proper film? And so, yeah, and then um, had that idea in the back of my head and then the movie Kenny came out. Um, about a plumber, and I thought, wow, they made this movie with, like, gear I've already got. You know, technology's no longer a barrier. And I just sat there and I thought, well, what's your excuse? You know, you don't need a million-dollar million camera anymore, and, you know, we've got more and more means to get, the, get something out there. So and that was the genesis of Blokes. So how did the relationship start between you and... And Hugh Jackman here. Well, um, <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> Hugh Jackman. Well, as, as as a young type, my granddad, my granddad always used to live, um, listen to Ronnie's albums. He had his first album, Land Is Not For Sale. And I just remember him just being, you know, a local singer-songwriter and, um, and didn't think too much more of it till I asked, I had a casting call and auditions and asked, asked Townsville and Burdick and people to try out for the movie. We're looking for three actors. And Ronnie put his name name board. You live in towns with Gary. Put your hand yeah, Sit down. Kept that quiet. No, we ran we ran ads ads and everything. So um, yeah, and he, Ron was one that put his um, put his put his hat forward. And I just instantly I just thought, oh, I, I know Ronnie's voice would be awesome as for the voiceover and everything. And he, he wound up getting the job of Nudge. So yeah, I could do that solo. <laughs> no. no, you know what lets you down? What? You're not a fisherman. <laughs> because you, you would have to... Mate, this movie will, will change all that, mate. Mate, it's amazing what they can do on movies. I know. <laughs> yeah, you, they can do anything these days. Yeah. How, how'd you enjoy it, Ron? It was Loved it. How long, over a period of time, did it take to shoot the movie? Well, if the other blokes could have remembered their lines... A bit that, have, like that, was it? It would have been three weeks instead of three months. Yeah. <laughs> How did you go with, with your... You'd probably be really, all right because of your song. No, nah, mate, really bad. Yeah? Yeah, really oh, bad. Sorry. And, uh, yeah, I was the holder. <laughs> but uh, if you've seen the bloopers, you'd, uh, you'd understand. But, uh, no, it took a... I, I probably remembered two chapters of the whole script, you know, and, um, and when that happened, the other books... <laughs> Freaked out because they just didn't know what to follow up with. They, they, they were used to these retakes, and I'll never forget Ricky. He's just, oh, I'm in awe of you, Ronnie. I'm in awe uh, of you. Yeah, there's some and, scenes, 85 takes. So <laughs> really? There's, there's uh, some bloopers at the end of the film. I do like that little, you know, show some of the little quirky things that go yeah. wrong. But I did a un, sort of uncensored bloopers disc for the fellas. It goes for half an hour of just basically yeah. stuff ups. <laughs> they're, and they're, they're good. They can be good fun. The stuff ups. You can sit there oh, and have a good laugh. It's a movie in itself. Isn't it? So uh, uh, just a, a no, no. basic rundown of of blokes. The movie. What what is it about? 
it's about three blokes. Yeah, it's usually three three guys that um, um, basically have to get away every couple of years. They head up the Gulf, and we we use an analogy like a guy's head's like an oil filter on a truck. You just gotta clean it out once in a while. And these <laughs> trips are like a very cathartic experience for them. They can cl clean out everything out of their heads and just relax a little bit. And the three fellas are from different um, have different um, points in their lives. One's married with um, kids. That's um, Ron's character, Nudge. <laughs> Then we've got a real ladies' man, bit of a Lothario. His name's Magic. Yeah. He doesn't want to get settled down. He just, yeah, he's not interested. He's just happy doing what he does. And then we've got a third fellow um, by the name of Two Bags, and he, he hasn't found the love of his life yet. But, no. But he's, he's, so, he's so just two bags full. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, and he's, he's looking for it, and they go away and, you know, sometimes you think, you know, um, the grass is greener on the other side of the fence. They swap stories and realise maybe yeah. it isn't. So, yeah. So it's, a, it's basically a bloke's fishing trip away or just a, a, a getaway up the gulf? Like, some fellas. Yeah, I, I sort of um, pitching it as it's uh, two journeys. One, it's a geographical journey on a fishing trip to the Gulf, um, and also a journey into the psyche of, of um, yeah, Aussie males. So it's two journeys in one. How do, to fund something like that? How do you go about that? You just door knock around the Burdekin or I, I pretty much yeah just funded it myself. We had a couple of sponsors come on board with a little bit of money just to sort of help buy the editing suite and whatnot. Um, and a lot of I just got friends to um, donate sort of their time essentially yeah. coming up helping as crew and and with some logistics. Uh, but otherwise yeah we just put it together on a on a shoestring. Initially I did look into some funding like with the funding bodies that are around and and some of them like said they wouldn't fund Australiana, you know, and I was like, well, why have Australian funding bodies if, like, yeah. you know, they're not going to fund Australiana? So I thought that was a bit crazy. I thought, well, not everyone wants to see a zombie and a vampire film, you know yeah. what I mean? And that seems to be all the rage at the moment, and I just it, want to do something different. It is, isn't it? It's weird because they'll give some scientists a million dollars to study the effects of stress in the 18... 50s, but yet you try and get a few bucks for an Australiana movie and you can't get a thing. How's how are you going distributing it, or what's the process to uh, um, well getting we, it out there? We spent a, a year putting it into all the major film festivals in Australia. We even tried Sundance and whatnot, and um, yeah, it was almost like no one wanted us. And I just thought, oh, does do people just not get our sense of humour? Don't they get what this is about? And, you know, we're, we're almost given up hope. And then um, the organiser of the uh, Whitsunday Film Festival, Emily Harvey, saw the trailer online and said, look, can we put your movie in our festival? I wrote to her and said, look, it's a little bit risque in parts of the film. You might want to watch it before you program it into the festival. Let me know. And I, I said to Ronnie, I said, oh, we won't hear back. I said, you know, we'll see how we go. Anyway, she rang up, said she loved it. And can she make it the premiere film of the whole festival? Oh, and great. I'm like, yeah, two thumbs up. Let's go for it. So when's that... Uh When's that start? Hey, okay, Kadegi, um, next Thursday the, fest, um, the f um, film festival starts, but our, our um, screening or world premiere is on the Friday night down in Bowen um, at the Summer Garden Cinemas uh, on Queen's Beach. So it's essentially yeah, 7 o'clock. Um, there's going to be two films. There's going to be our film and then a bit of an intermission, a couple of short films, and then some other, I don't know, Aussie film by some up-and-coming director called Baz Luhrmann. He's made something. I've never heard of him. So, something called Gatsby. Gatsby yeah. Great or something. Have I you, don't know. Have you yeah. punted that down the list? Well, he goes, he goes after us. So oh, he's, well, that's we, he's our support <laughs> actor, I think. So that's how we're pitching it. Yeah, I've worked with Baz before, yes. You will. Oh, yeah. more, more. More so now, Ron, now that you've oh, done yeah. this. <laughs> Baz and bloody Beef, all the bees, mate. All did, the great directors. Did, did you, how did you find it, Ron? You'd never done anything like that before. No. And you, you, you've done all your singing, and sung in front of people. How mm. daunting was it you stand in front of the cameras? It was pretty hard uh, to get used to, especially with those beaming, uh, those light things, that reflectors off the sun. Yep. Burning, you know, and you're sitting there trying to make out your fish. Well, you, we were fishing, weren't we? <laughs> trying to make out your fishing. But I, uh, it was remembering the lines, and the, yep. you didn't. You tried to act as natural as you could. Yeah, you know, but. It was like you knew these blokes you were talking to, but you had to follow this script. You know, yeah. it wasn't the normal lingo you, you'd be, yeah. really didn't lose. You know, well there is a bit of it, and that's why I reckon this lady in Bow and Emily. I don't think she could have sat through the whole thing because it it gets a bit rough. You know, what well, the blokes do? It, no, yeah, the language. Did the, did the director 
constantly say to you, talk to the camera, Ron, talk to the camera. <laughs> All he was saying was cut. We'll do that again. <laughs> we'll do that again. We nicked him, um, Ron, one take Odges at the end of the film. <laughs> that good. <laughs> oh, mate. It, yeah, as I say, it would have taken oh, probably two or three weeks off a day if I'd have remembered my lines. How, bi how big a block of lines do you have? Like when, when you do a TV commercial, there's only a little block there of lines. There he goes. Yeah. You can, yeah. <laughs> you can do it easy, but in a movie. He's an expert. How much, how, how do you go? Oh, how many? How? Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, you just go as good as you can. Well, uh, two bags, that's Robert Zandonati, he, he could just look through a, a page like that or a book and it's there. He just does it. You know, he, he acts a lot in the shows and here yeah. in the theatre. No, nothing to him. Ricky's much the same. But um, me... Just, Isn't it funny? Mate, I've always read me songs. I've had to read me songs, yeah. even playing in the pubs and that, you know. But um, I don't know. I've, I've got a tape there where I've done about... I've done most of the fishing album with... Uh, with our, but that was when I was younger, too. You well, yeah, well, that's a while. That was uh, 97? <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. A while ago. Because, yeah. you know, the funny thing about it, we had it uh, on the tackle store counter, as did all the tackle stores around, but we actually kitted Ron out in... In uh, clothing, when in the shop, he come in. I think yeah, it was Thomas. Right. I think it was Thomas Cook clothing. We yeah, we kitted you out right. in in to wander around with his album in those days. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah, he looked flash, a bit flasher then than now. <laughs> Although that's a pretty good bloke shirt you've both got on there. Yeah. No, mate, we're we're really excited about it now, and I'm glad it's been picked up in Queensland. You know, yeah, Sundance, America. You know, you're up against the Clints and the Blumen. You just haven't got a chance. Oh, you blow them out the water, mate. Oh, we would, yeah. You, you, well, you said there's a It'll trailer be. online that people can go and have a look at? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, there's a trailer and a bit of a, just a blog about the making of the film at blokes.net.au. So, um, yeah, people can watch the two-minute trailer. Not suitable for work. So, um, yeah, make sure the kids aren't in the room. But, yeah, you can watch a trailer there and, um, yeah, get a two-minute feel of what we're about. All right, so the Whit Sunday Film Festival, you said you mentioned it starts on June uh, 20th and then the uh, world premiere of uh, Blokes on the 21st of June. That'll run through until the 30th of June. We'll go through the dates in more detail in a few moments. But what's the plans for the movie after the film festival? Will it become available for people to watch either online or yeah, DVD-wise? Well, we're we're look, looking at the options now because um, a big big thing with distributing a film is there's so many people in the middle that all want their cut. And sometimes people have got movies into the cinemas and made you know, a few million and the filmmakers left with nothing to make their next project. So now with the internet, like there's so many video on demand options with Vimeo, YouTube's looking at a pay-per-view pay service. So we're looking at that as initially. Um, yeah, if, if we can't get into theatres sort of like, yeah, wide scale, but um, probably just to um, have some screenings sort of maybe at the cinemas in the Burdekin, maybe if we get a screening in Townsville, sort of just get it to the local audience first and then offer video on demand if we can. Okay, well we've got some uh, contacts over the road there at the cinemas, so we might be able to look into something uh, about that, but I'm sure whatever details you come up with, uh, Nathan and the crew here on the fishing show will let everybody know about that. Did, uh, so we hear about uh, all these superstars being demanding... They want this, they want that. What did Ron want? Kilo of prawns, oh, six that, pack of beer. I, I tell you what, like, yeah, if I knew, like, <laughs> they'd, like they'd, they'd ring up and demand a trailer. And I said, yeah, not a problem, but there'll be a boat on it. <laughs> <laughs> so he sat in that to get his makeup done. Yeah, he sat and sucked and done our strength, you know. Mate, it mean? was all, all there for it, all good tucker, all cooked. Well, yeah. the, you know, bush tucker and yeah. stuff, you know. Did you have crew, a makeup the, artist? The crew was great. Bet she worked overtime. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, Robert said um, he'd, he'd love to do another movie because sometimes I'd, I'd say, look, have a few beers before you start your scene. You've got to loosen up a bit. Like, you know, it's, it's not theatre. You don't have to be so tight. Like, loosen up. And he just said, like, first gig, he's been told to work, drink before he goes to work. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, but it's natural to Ron. <laughs> uh, some great scenery, some great places we filmed that. It was just amazing. Where was it filmed? 
What location? Um, all, all around. Like, um, it's, uh, we went up to Cooktown for most of the, the filming um, and uh, we're on the Endeavour River. One of the ironies is that um, we were up there in probably the worst time of the year and the fish weren't biting. Like, you know, um, I was told it's too cold and the fish were being a bit lazy that week. So we're there for like, you know, a week and a half and what, <laughs> we got, got this little tiny jack or something that we virtually couldn't even, yeah, even use, no. <laughs> use in the film. So we kind of, we had to fake it and we went to a Burdekin hotspot with a professional fisherman and we've got some shots of some massive bar of money being lured into the, yeah, into the boat. So The I'll, magic yeah. of the cinema yeah. so, <laughs> so, so even though it's pitched as a golf you'll see bits of Ravenswood there'll be bits mm. of the Burdekin there'll be um, um, Cooktown and virtually the whole road in between so oh great places. Mm. and you Ron what's been happening music wise for you very slack mate very slack I now work at the theatre and here the Burdekin yep. theatre is a toilet hugger and I just, um, <laughs> I just <laughs> give it all away mate for the so you haven't no, haven't penned anything for John? I haven't. Or? Oh, since this, I penned the songs for this. Yep. There's seven new ones or something. In there. And um, we we yet to record them. I've organised that just recently. So it'll be it'll be much the same as the fishing album. Nothing big. Just just nice guitar and stuff you can listen to and fishing stuff. You know, so. Oh, good. Maybe we'll keep uh, keep us informed mm. of uh, how it's all going, and we'll keep an eye out for the for the uh, movie. Mm, yeah, no worries. It'll it'll be good. And I'm down at Bowen. If anyone can, is down at Bowen listening, and drop over there and yeah. have a watch, it'll be a good night. Mm. And can I just say good day to a bloke down there? He hasn't had a beer yet. A young a young Are fellow you sure? I know in here. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be watching the clock. But Merv Littlefield, he's uh, he's listened to this since dot the show. He just loves it. Merv, yeah. Merv Littlefield, and uh, he just says. It's nothing like it on radio. I was speaking to him yesterday, actually. So, g'day, mate. How you going? Oh, good on him. So, uh, there's one person who listens. Yeah. So, <laughs> well, we're up to one. So, I said I'd give him a call. Yeah, beautiful. What, what You've been working at the cinema? You've been fishing? Doing any fishing? No, nothing. Mate, what's that? No, no. Not since the movie, mate. I sort of wore myself out there. The <laughs> mate, we had, um, oh, it'd be end of last year now, we were talking to John Williamson. He still remembers, he still talks about the day under, whose house was it? With no, Skid Marks. Skid Marks yeah. He still talks about that day Does sitting it? down there with you blokes. Yeah, yeah, we had a good good chat about it. It's, uh, he signed the Sewage Pipe of Fame. There was a couple of people come there, signed that, but, you know, we were very picky about who signed Who signs the Sewage Pipe of Fame? You... But it's still there. People just often come up to me and say, we seen the sign at, at, at Old Skid Marks the other day, and the house is up for sale, I see the other day. I went out and had a look. So it's it's somebody had bought it, but it's empty at the moment, up for sale now. It's Mate, about he, five acres there. It's good, good. He uh, he was a uh, character, the old skid marker, oh, and, and you immortalised him in one of your songs on <laughs> on the album. He was he, so proud of that. You know, anybody else would have went to ground, I reckon, but he just loved it. He did, mate, and he was a good chat. I when you two used to come into the shop and yeah. we'd have a bit of a yarn. It, it was good, the good old days. Yeah, they were great days. They were, mate. Certainly yeah, yeah, certainly were. All right, so that film, Off Work, Off Road and Offensive, <laughs> Blokes, starring Ron Hodges, will be at the Whit Sunday Film Festival 2013. We'll run through the date shortly. Guys, thanks for uh, joining us in the studio. Ron, you handed us a CD there with um, a handwritten track list. Yeah. Number two? <laughs> Just uh, number two, mate. The... Is that the only one that can play it's on air? Blokes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, those are pretty rich. Now, yeah. I'll have to check that with you. Is that a two or a three? Is it uh, circle three? Sorry. three. Oh, yeah. I've got yeah, it right there. So, so, <laughs> so this, this is the, uh, the, this is the theme, song, theme for song for the movie. Mm, so here's a world premiere. Blokes, Ron Hodges here on The Fishing Show. Ah, blokes. Love their outdoors and their fishing. Booze, barbecues and women. Talking about blokes, ah, blokes. There's no flame and doubt about them. What would we ever do without them? Talking about blokes. Down the shed under the ute, all crabbing up the creek. Forty scores stuck in the fridge, talking shit, hunting pigs. Not enough hours in a week. Never round when you require one Handy though should you desire one Talk
talking about blokes. Drinking on bagging kiwis and their sheep. Ah, you beaut four wheelers, pub crawls, hot sheilers, not enough hours in a week. Ah, blokes. Finding good ones can be tragic. Take a look at bags and magic. Talking about blokes. Ah, blokes. The world may change, but never leaves them. With that friendship there between them. Talking about blokes, talking about blokes, talking about blokes. blokes. Well, there we go. That is the uh, world premiere of the song Blokes from the uh, the film Blokes, starring Ron Hodges and the Wood Sunday Film Festival 2013. Kicking off at the Bowen Front Beach Amphitheatre on the 20th of June at 6 p.m., which is a free community event. On June 21st at 10 p.m. at the Bowen Summer Garden Cinemas uh, will be the world premiere of Queensland film Blokes. Uh, then um, also uh, June 21st, 7 p.m., uh, there's the Cocktails and Film as well at the Bowen Summer Garden Cinemas, so that's a big day. On the 22nd of June at 6 p.m., Queen's Beach Motor Hotel in Bowen. Uh, the Bowen Film Group presenting the, uh, the selection of films there, including blokes. Also on June 23rd at 10 a.m. at the Bowen PCYC, there's a children's screening, which uh, should be interesting. <laughs> uh, also uh, June 23rd at 7 p.m., the uh, Bowen Film Group presenting the uh, run of films, including blokes as well, at the Bowen PCYC. On the 29th of June at 6 p.m. at Club Croc Hotel in Airlie Beach, Film Festival on the deck, and June 30th at 6 p.m. at the Green Energy Whit Sunday Sports Park in Ely Beach, a free community event as well. More information is available on this website, www.bowenfilmgroup.com, bowenfilmgroup.com, and um, as uh, they mentioned before, have a look online and uh, you can see a, a bit of a trailer of blokes. Mate, aptly named blokes for an a uh, fishing trip that heaps of blokes do every year, so beautiful. All right, it is only a couple of minutes away from 8 o'clock. We'll take a break here on the North Queensland Fishing Show. We'll be back with more after this. All my friends don't go fishing. Live across North Queensland on 4K1G, this is the Saturday Fishing Show. Well, I was launching my boat at the local ramp the other day. When this bloke waiting to come ashore Seemed to have a flaming lot to say He said, if you think you're gonna catch something, mate Think again Cause I've been up and down this creek a dozen times And I haven't caught a thing And when I told him he couldn't catch a fish If someone put it in his hand He said, now listen, mate I've fished every creek in this whole land Cause I caught every fish type, mate I've caught every fish type, mate From the North Pole down to All Bass Strait From Tassie to Corumba, mate Fish and I know it all, mate I've caught everything Caught a flathead, whiting, luteric, silver rim, saratoga, coal trout, brown trout, feet, lip, javelin, wahoo, my mine, any guy caught sweet flounder, yeah, but Simmons hole, grab prawn, sorty, grind them all away, what a hunter I've caught every fish, mate I've caught every fish I've never lost one yet, mate, on a spear or lure or bait, mate. Fishing, I know it all, mate. I've caught everything. Yeah, mate, yeah, I've heard it all before. Blokes like you're a dime of bloody dust. Bean fish, catfish, jewfish, garfish, sailfish, dogfish, emberjack, finger mark, black from yellow belly, tarp on barrow money, no one's like Spanish, mackerel, doggy, mother, jumper, got flame fish, cave fish, rock fish, ask me right. I've caught every fish, mate. I've caught every fish. I've never lost one yet, mate. On a spear or lure or bait, mate. Fish and I know it all, mate. I've caught everything. Yeah, mate. I understand, but look, all I want to do is go fishing. Just want to be on me. Just throw a line. I saw a fish, sturgeon, walleye, grope, a flying fish, barracuda, bull, shark, rat tail, tuna, carp, marlin, mini doe, empty yellow tail, the valley bass, stone fish, shield, pike, whale. I've caught every fish, mate. I've caught every fish. I've never lost one yet, mate, on a spear or lure or bait, mate. Fishing I ain't know it all, mate. I've caught everything. Yeah, okay, mate, I believe you. Just leave me alone, will you? Gong, Jack Taylor, all fish, herring, manta ray, bowfin, archivin, bony brim, sardine, murray, ras, haddock, hack and mutts, kippily, fish, file fish, birds, lionfish, coat fish, squirrel fish, yeah, I've caught every fish, mate, I've caught every fish, 
I've never lost one yet, mate, on a spear or lure or bait, mate. Fish and I know it all, mate. I've caught everything. Yeah, I've caught every fish, mate. I've caught every fish. I've never lost one yet, mate, on a spear or lure or bait, mate. Fish and I know it all, mate. I've caught everything. Well, here's something you won't catch, mate, and that's me on the way back. And welcome back to the North Queensland Fishing Show here on this Saturday morning and Bull Shark in the chair for Nathan Goodwin this morning who is away, I don't know where he is at the moment. Who cares? Yeah. <laughs> mate, who cares when movie stars lob in? We've forgotten all about him. It was, it, Mate, it was so nice to see Ron. I haven't seen Ron for uh, a few years now after, and Ron's been a fishing show uh, regular since almost its inception in 90, end of 96, I think it kicked off and, and Ron's been in and out and poking around and singing and ringing and all sorts of stuff. So, so uh, I hope it goes well for him and uh, I'm going to look up the trailer when I get home. Yeah, and, I want to have a look and, at that as well. And have a little look. So the, the boys were just telling us about a, a couple of the scenes in the movie there and a, the, the uh, womanising man has a has a sex scene and poor old Ron was locked outside the room so he wasn't allowed to even look so uh, it'll be good, it'll be great fun. Talking about blokes, ah blokes, there's no flame and doubt about them, what would we ever do without them? Talking about blokes, down the shed under the ute, or crabbing up the creek, 40 scores stock in the fridge, talking shit, hunting pigs, not enough hours in a week.